in this video I'll be giving you my honest thoughts and feelings about the boyfriend cardigan by Love Notions. So if you're looking for a cardigan to keep you warm and cosy this winter, stay tuned. Welcome back. If we haven't met, my name's Claire and on this channel I bring you plus size dressmaking videos with the aim of helping you feel more confident in the clothes you're wearing no matter what size or shape you are. If that sounds like something that interests you, do hit that subscribe button below because I bring one to two videos to you every week. So a few weeks ago Love Notions had the boyfriend cardigan on their Feature Friday offer which if you don't know about that they send out an email every friday or most fridays i think anyway with a really good deal so you can buy one of their patterns for five pounds and they choose the pattern so the other week it was the boyfriend cardigan which i'm wearing now and if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you know that i have been looking for a cardigan pattern now I am looking for one that is more like the Lisa Comfort cardigan, so it nips in at the waist and it's got buttons down the front, but equally I wanted a long duster cardigan as well and this pattern really spoke to me. So when I saw it going for $5, which is about £3.50 in English money, I knew I could not let this go because winter is drawing in, the days are getting colder and I have one cardigan to my name. But now I have three. So what I'm going to do today is give you a review of this cardigan patterns, my pros, my cons, how I found the experience of making it. And at the end, you'll be able to get an affiliate link, which is down below. If you don't know an affiliate link just means that I receive a small commission when you purchase it at no extra cost to yourselves. All thoughts are my own and as you guys know I will always give you an honest review. So I'm going to shift over a little bit so that I can put a picture here of the pattern. So the boyfriend cardigan is a long duster cardigan. It comes to a mid thigh. It's um, it's got no closures as such. It comes with a shawl collar, a hood, patch pockets, and you can, if you don't, <coughs> if you don't want the shawl collar on, you could just turn it under, and it'll be quite a wide fitting cardigan. I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm wearing it now. Now, Love Notions have produced this as an adult pattern and also a children's pattern. I have no experience of the children's pattern, so I am just talking about the adult pattern, but I understand that they're very similar, if not the same, and there will be links to both the adult and the children's version down below. A couple of other features that it also has is a centre back seam, which is fantastic for shaping the back. So often with cardigan patterns, they will be cut on the fold, which means there's no shaping in the back whatsoever. Uh, but this one has got a seam down the middle, and that just means that it's, they're able to shape it. If you look on the pattern, you'll see that there is some slight shape in there, which means I don't have a pull of fabric in the small of my back, like I often do with these types of patterns. So that's fantastic. One other thing, it also has a drop shoulder, so I didn't, normally I might amend a drop shoulder, but I haven't, and it comes to there. So there's my shoulder line, and it comes to there, so about three inch drop on me, but I have small shoulders, so that's no big surprise. If you have wider shoulders, it might be a little bit shorter on you. So as I say, lots of different features and you can really like omit things and put things in and make it your own. The pattern goes up to a 3XL, which translates as 49.5 bust, 41.5 waist and 51.5 hips. 41.5 is quite a bit smaller than my waist. My waist is 46, but I made no amendments and I haven't got any problems with it because there's plenty of ease in the pattern. So I wanted to go for simplicity in my choices. So I just went for the shawl collar. I omitted the pockets and the hood. 
and I also on the second one I omitted the side vents because that's another feature that I didn't mention just now but it actually has side vents so for my fabric choices I'm in a position where I am not buying any fabrics at the moment if I can help it there may be one or two occasions where I do but for the most part I'm not and I do have some rib knits that I showed you in a previous video that I wanted to use up and they were perfect for this pattern so I wanted to have two cardigans that would cover my whole wardrobe basically so I needed to have a light one and a dark one and they needed to be plain so the pattern comes from the texture in these because they are both rib knits now the one I'm wearing is the first one I made that kind of a twirl or like a, a wearable garment and as you can see there, it's got irregular ribs. So it's got a thick one there, a thin one there, a thick one there. And you can see, so I get my pattern from the texture rather than the actual look of the design because it's just a, like a beigey colour. So I got this fabric from the textile centre over a year ago, so they won't have any more in stock. Um, but I had three metres and I wanted to use it up. The other fabric that I had is here. So this is the other cardigan I made up and it looks like almost, it looks almost purple on screen but it is a navy blue in real life and it's got just a regular thick rib. So as I say, I made this one up and then I made this one up. So we'll talk about the beige one first. So the pattern pieces come in A4 pattern pieces or A0. I always send mine off to the printers for A0 because I just find it easier to trace than to print and cut and paste and all the rest of it. But you can print it off A4 if you want. So I found tracing off really simple. I traced the front, the back, the sleeves, the shawl collar and I traced it in a straight 3x owl. By this stage I'm used to Love Notions patterns and I haven't had any problems with this pattern or any of the other patterns actually. So just before I get on to talk about this make, can I just ask that if you're getting value from this video that you do hit the like button as that tells YouTube that you like my content and really helps me to grow my channel. Thanks. So I do normally make a twirl but I didn't really in this case. Well this is kind of sort of half a twirl but half a real thing um i knew this was a really quick make and it was an easy make as well so i basically just wanted to whiz it through saying that i did actually sew this one on the sewing machine and then do the edges on the serger and normally i just go through on the serger but i knew i wanted to do a mitered corner and so I did need to be using my sewing machine. So I just went all in using my sewing machine for this instead of just using my serger. Now I don't make life easy for myself because this fabric is an irregular knit. So it does need pattern matching really. I was sort of half successful with my pattern matching. On my shawl collar, I've got the same pattern on each side going all the way down. On the two sides, I've got the same pattern going all the way down so it looks symmetrical on the front. The two pattern, sl pattern sleeves, the two sleeves were also cut with the same pattern. So going all the way down the arm, they've got the same pattern. The only places I wasn't able to pattern match is down the side seam, hopefully. No one's going to inspect my cardigan that closely. But when you're looking at me at a glance, it is pattern match. So really pleased with that. Just before I stop talking about pattern matching, I am so, so proud of the pattern matching in the back. And that was largely achieved by using lots and lots of pins. When you're pattern matching, especially if you're pattern matching like stripes or something like that, then using loads and loads of pins will be your friend and you'll get a really good match from doing this. So in terms of construction, I did the usual. I stabilised the shoulders using a little bit of organza strip. Then I attached the sleeves. So then I sewed down the side, but you could only sew so far because the pattern does come with 
side vents and I wanted to do a mitered corner. I'd seen on Karina's video that she did mitered corners for this pattern. And so I wanted to do that. I'm not going to go into detail here because Karina has done a full instruction on it on her channel. I will link her video down below in my description box. So check that out. I just followed her instructions and I got it right the first time. And I think they look really good. So there's, my, well, there's one of my mitered corners and it just looks fantastic. So I then sewed the cuffs and I, with the cuffs I just turned them up and sewed them. If I turn the sleeve up you can see it. So I just did a thin line of stitching. Just to give you a heads up I used a straight stitch for most of this pattern. It was only on the sleeves where there is some stretch that I used a zigzag. So for the most part, you're not going to need to use a zigzag. But if you wear your clothes really close fitting, especially with negative ease, then I would advise using a zigzag stitch. So something that I did really wrong with this cardigan, and I didn't notice it until I had, well, until I was making the second one up, was that I put the shawl collar on upside down. So the shawl collar comes with a thin bit at one end and a thick bit at the other end. And the thick bit is supposed to be what goes round the neck so that it'll turn over and then it goes into a thin piece at the bottom. But no, 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 no. I didn't do that, did I? If you look there, my thick part of my shawl collar is at the bottom. It's quite hard to show you while I'm wearing it, but yeah, the thick part is at the bottom and that should be round the neck. No one's gonna know, to be honest. Oh no, but no one else will know when they look at me wearing it. It just means that it won't turn over at the neck. So other than that, I was really, really happy with this make. So I will insert some footage of me wearing it now. You can fly high finished this one um, I was getting a little bit of sewer's fatigue I was trying to whiz it through the sewing machine but because I was using the sewing machine and the serger and I was doing the mitered corners and I was just being super super careful with everything it took over a couple of hours now I wanted to get another one finished and I didn't want it to take that long so I just used the serger on the second one and that was a lot easier because it was a regular rib as well so there was no pattern matching that I needed to do so I'm just going to change into my other one and then we'll talk about that one so after the first one which took over two hours because I was using the sewing machine and then the serger and doing the mitered corner as well I was getting a little bit of sewer's fatigue but I really wanted to sew up the second one in the same day so it was paramount that this one didn't take two hours because let's be honest it didn't need to so I just whizzed this up on the serger and I omitted the side vents because it doesn't need to have side vents it's just a nice feature I managed to put the shawl collar on the right way this time so this one I don't know if you can see but this one does fold over and for the hem I just folded it up like that which is that's how the pattern instructs you to do it anyway you can fly high.
and I did this one in about 45 minutes. So win-win there. So I had two cardigans in under three hours. How fantastic is that? That might be in part because I haven't actually hemmed the sleeves on this one. I've just folded them up like that. I guess I was being a little bit lazy because like, if I open them up, there you are. They're not, they're unfinished on the edges, but it's jersey, so it doesn't need to be finished. So I have just folded it up. So I wear leggings and often I'll avoid making tops that stop at the waist or the hip because I need something that covers my bum, which is why I wear tunics quite a lot. Like the laundry day tee is a really good one for me because it covers my bum and allows me to wear leggings. Now I know for certain that I need more of these in my wardrobe, for sure I do, because A, they're such great staples, but B, they're so quick and easy to sew up. Um, I definitely have got to have more of these, so I need to source some more fabric, because I haven't got any more fabric that I can use to make these. So I may look into purchasing some, maybe some Ponty or some, I don't know. What fabrics do you think would suit this? Do leave a comment below and let me know. Also, tell me, are you going to make this? Have you got this pattern and are you going to make it? So I'm so glad I did. I'd really like to know what you think down in the description box below. Now, there's a couple of other patterns that are similar to this one. So you've got the Athena Cacao Nikki cardigan and the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. And both of them are very similar to this. I was actually hankering after the Blackwood cardi, but at 14 pounds or dollars, and I got this for five dollars, that's quite a difference. So I did go with this one, but it's really, really good. It's really comfy. You could wear this to work. You could wear it to slouch in. Even if you made it in a more dressy knit fabric, you could wear it out of an evening if it's particularly cold. But if you like this kind of content and would like to see more, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because then you'll be notified when new videos are released. Don't forget, don't forget to leave a comment, a like, share my video. If you like my content, do share it out on the internet so that other people can find me and get value from my content as well. If you feel so inclined, you can support the channel financially over at my coffee account, and that's at ko-fi.com forward slash penguin and pear where you can make a donation as small as three pound and upwards donating over there really does help me to develop the channel because it makes some money available to me for buying patterns and what have you thank you for watching to the end i really do appreciate every minute that you give to my channel so all that's left to say is have a great day happy sewing until we meet again Bye for now. Hey, you can fly higher than the sky.